so much of the work I've seen my daughter bring home that getting the right answer is irrelevant. John Pendergraf is a mechanical engineer, but he doesn't recognize what's being called math in public school these days. It's become more about various ways to solve a problem, and as this test shows, it's not about crunching the numbers. It was a multiple guess test. He had a one in four chance of getting any of them right. And she told me she basically looked at the four answers and picked the one that made the most sense. She didn't necessarily know how to work the problems. Process after process after process. Pendergraf has found great hope for a change by going straight to the State Board of Education, the SBOE. He believes about half of the state school board members now realize there is a problem with math. Some people on the board have told me the more parents we hear from, the better. They want to hear what the parents are seeing. They want to hear our point of view. Pendergraf says if you have a curriculum concern, the SBOE is the place to go. Local school boards follow the state-imposed mandates, and unlike his experience in Katy, the state school board meetings are less intimidating. Several people I saw, they let them have a few extra minutes, they didn't turn off the microphone, and then there was a give and take question and answer section afterwards. He's getting a group together for this week's SBOE meeting. He'd like to make an impression about numbers with numbers and may bring a star witness along with him. I might actually take my daughter with me. She is not afraid of speaking in public and she's not afraid to tell you what she thinks of the math right now. In Katie, Andrea Watkins, Fox 26 News.